What up, Murph? Guys, good morning, good afternoon, how are we? Is that the dumbest like phrase I always say on every video? Do you guys hate it? You hate me. It's kind of your Sorry. catchphrase. It's kind of my thing. We are going to go shoot our bow stay at the uh, Poketail Field Archers Outdoor Course up here in Scout Mountain. Uh, beautiful day. Uh, absolutely gorgeous day, but uh, we're going to put on the new Crispy Thors. I have never worn these. Uh, Brian and Eric highly recommended them. They wore them all last year and they absolutely loved them. So I got me a pair of the olives. They come in also orange. Um, so I'm going to put them on and uh, go shoot this course, and I'll give you guys an honest review after I wear them for a couple miles. Fresh out of the box, Fresh no breaking. I've worn probably six pairs of Krispies now, tried six pairs out, and uh, five out of the six had absolutely zero breaking. In fact, the Nevadas, I showed you guys a few years ago, I forgot my boots, and Eric was coming from Salt Lake, and I said, Eric, stop by Crispy and get me a new pair of Nevadas. So he did, and he showed up, brand new pair of boots, threw them on that day, and then hunted elk for the next 10 days with them, and never had any issues whatsoever. So, it's one thing I love about Krispies is no break-in, and they're super comfortable, and they last a long time. So, we thought we'd make this uh, shoot a little more fun, a little more interesting, and just not bring our rangefinders. And by, when I say not bring them, I mean just totally forget them. But uh, this yardage it actually has yardage on this target. Um, but I don't think the other the other targets have yardages on them. So we'll make it uh, make it like it used to be back in the day before rangefinders. But this is 80 yards. I don't think I've ever shot this bow. My slider out to 80 yards. We'll see if it's on or not. Target. I think I'm left though. I'm gonna do that one more time. That's such a cool shot. I'm shooting way left. It's long. Logan wanted to show you guys his new crispies that he's trying out of the box today. Um, it's a new style they're trying. It's called the Crispy Easy Loafers. That went right Did you shoot an arrow? <laughs> There's like no sound. <laughs> that went way right. Well, it's not way right. It went right of the target. We're going to try one more. I brought five arrows today. I, this distance right here, I was pushing it too far. and I was like already setting my bow down before it went off. That was better. I heard foam. I had to get used to that. There you go. Whoa! Oh. Try it again. A little left. So try to look down the arrow. Yeah, down. Try to look down the arrow and look at the turkey. Oh, oh. nice. <laughs> she got outshot by Winston, dude. <laughs> Dang. Well, this is my first shot, high and left. Logan's second shot, not too bad, about six inches low. Yeah, I'd say you drop your bow. Yeah. I thought both your arrows hit the target. I skipped off the top of it, I think, or off the left side of it. Oh. Always check your arrows. Yeah, especially when you miss. Call it the flex test. Last thing you want to do is have an arrow blow up in your bow and send carbon through your wrist. She good though. These axes, these Eastern axes are super tough arrows. I like them. And I like the fact that they don't bend. They're either broke or they're they're straight and ready to shoot. Alright, so we can't read the uh, yardage on that one. But I'm gonna say there's probably 45 yards, is what I'm guessing. Smoked him. I'd say 45, Vogue. Oh, that was good. What are you guessing it at now? <coughs> I, I'm gonna guess it at 40, 44, probably. I think actually went, I went just a touch low. It might be for like 47. Is that hot? A little bit low. 
low. Really? But left and right were good. My sight might be off. I have, this was a new bow, and I've shot it probably like 300 arrows through it, and there might be a little string stretch going on. But I don't think so, man. They're saying these new strings are getting like almost a thousand shots. Maybe I need to shoot buzz <laughs> more, I guess. I, sweet. Sick. Oh, nice shot, buddy. Nice. nice. All right, Logan's up first on this one. There's no yardage marker, so it's another guesstimate. What are you thinking? I'm going to say just under 40. 38-ish? Yeah. I'm thinking 42. Can you tell me what that is? It's a coyote. And his head's left? No, his head's looking back to on his body. Oh, okay. His body's face left, but his head's looking back to the right. I'd shoot just underneath his chin. Dude. What air? What pin are you using? I split between 30 and 40. Yeah, it's got to be easily 40 yards. Let me try one more. That string is stretching really bad right now. I got, I got jello string. <laughs> Perfect. What did you shoot him for that time? Uh, I held my 40 pin a little bit high. Like your good friend Isaac from Eastern always says, don't blame the equipment valid point. So I also switched over to a thumb release. Uh, I've just been having too many issues with uh, not it's not target panic but I'm punching I've been punching my trigger really bad. I've been working on all the whole last year and I felt like I was getting better and then still find myself punching every once in a while. So Jeremiah from Wild Arrow recommended this true ball fang four uh, thumb release. I've been shooting the last couple days and uh, liking it liking it a lot watch some videos on on the proper way to do it you know with thumb tension once your thumbs on there and you get close you just want to start pulling and actually like putting your shoulder blades together see that see that guys mm -hmm. like that and that will cause the bow to go off unexpectedly and that's what you want both shooting a bow and shooting a rifle right between his legs i think Shot it for 40. Got him. Got him. I have a good black bear. I'm guessing 40. It's a little deceiving because it goes down into a creek and then back up, but I'm, I think that's 40 yards. Four zero? Yeah. And this. Dang it! Bear. <laughs> really uplifting. Like my son. What were you even aiming at? <laughs> I'm uh, doubting my distances, and so I'm trying to adjust. And it's not working out very well. well I don't know. I can't tell you how far it is. <laughs> I shot three different ranges, and none of them were right. Same shot, black bear. We think 40. Five maybe, but if you guys haven't seen already, we have Hush Arrow Wraps. Did you just use the whole box on your yeah, one arrow? Yeah, this is my display arrow, <laughs> so I can show everybody the colors. And Hush uh, Arrow Veins, so if you guys are into those, you don't have to put all of them on your arrow, but I did. Um, check out GetHushing.com and you can get yourself set. Let's see how they fly. I'm basing the whole validity of these veins and wraps off this shot right here, so. Wow. Hopefully it's a good one. Pretty good. Smoked them. Pretty good veins and wraps. Did you shoot them for 45? Yeah. Yep. All right, Gage is going to shoot. <laughs> you sure? Yep. When you're out of arrows, you're done shooting. You're like, I know a guy. <laughs> Let's see this. I would aim way high. How do we do? It's <laughs> a branch witch. Winston, hurry up, dude.
got him. <laughs> Dude, he came hauling around that corner. Wiss, was that bear? <laughs> oh, we got him again! 40. 40? Question mark. Yes. I'd do 45. But it's downhill. Okay. So what, what do you do when it's downhill? You have to aim higher, right? No. Lower? Yep. Really? Doesn't matter right, if you're right, shooting right. downhill or uphill. Or uphill. The, the, uh, you'll, you'd aim below, so if that's 40 yards, you'd probably want to aim about 37. It's not that much of a downhill shot. What's that animal below the target? I don't know. I'm just going to shoot through. Left? Are you shooting the middle one? Yeah. Yeah, left and a little high. Right. Row and to the right. Somewhere between there. Yeah, I not. You weren't even looking. Ooh, that looks good. Maybe a tiny bit low. I can't right where I was aiming, actually. Both those will work. I guess we can shoot this deer. So you gotta shoot through this, though. Look at this gap, Logan. <laughs> through those two little trees? Yep. Dang. Okay, scoot back behind us. We're gonna shoot this way now. I'm thinking his head's to the right. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to film that. Got my machete. Got through there. Just a little back. Should Make it through there, Logan? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Maybe. Through the gap of the tree. Ooh. Whoa. Did you shoot it for 30? No, I shot it for 40. And I was like, looking my way, I didn't really look, and I like, it stopped looking. I think I hit him in the neck. A little forward. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. Yep, low right. Touch to the center on that one. Yeah. We get a little droop at 60. All right, guys, the last target is a moving target. So there's a, a foam target on a uh, table, and then there's a string that runs all the way back here. So somebody doesn't have to be up there. He pulls it, target's gonna come down, and I'm gonna shoot it on the move. You say it's 20 to right here? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep, pull it. Oh, right in the neck. That That's was fun. cool. <laughs> <laughs> we will be here for the next four hours. What I did there is I was held back. I could see the cable. I knew where it was going to come through. I think to be more accurate, you should actually follow the target and aim just a little far ahead and let go. What do you guys think at home? What are you going to do? I'm going to lead by like five inches. Are you going to try to follow the target down? Yeah. Just like with the shotgun and a bird, I'm going to kind of swing with it. Okay, good call. Okay, hold on, Winston. Okay, buddy, let her go. Okay. Oh! I let that thing like a foot, probably 16, 17 inches. You got him in the lungs for sure. Well, a couple takeaways from today. Uh, definitely need to shoot more. It's early summer though, guys. We got the whole summer to get practice up. I think we're going to make it a point to come shoot this at least once a week. It's fun. It's about a two and a half mile course is what my uh, map said. But uh, two and a half miles, about 20 something targets. Great practice. It's beautiful. Another takeaway, uh, the Thors might be my new favorite boot. Like I said, only two and a half miles. But I think a good boot is a boot that never even crosses your mind when you're out hiking. Like you don't think about it because it's just, you, you don't feel it. That's kind of how I felt today. Like I forgot I had the new Thors on. But. Good boot. I'm going to let you guys know more after I use them a little bit more this summer. So, 
Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Another archery video in the books. And here's some socks for your face.